Dr. Ritter is back at it. The Dutch Knight returneth. Yes, in defense of the one championship middleweight title. This goes down at 166 cutter. And you can, of course, stream that on Prime Video or watch.1fc.com. Friday, March 1st, 7.30 a.m. RDR, you got me fired up for this rematch here against Anatoly Malikin because we saw what happened back in 2022 when you fought him for the light heavyweight title. But you still got that middleweight strap, and you said, "No, I don't know. I don't want anybody else. I want him again." That that's 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 pretty. You know, there's some there's some guts. Uh, what do we call that? Wavos in 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 boxing circles. There, talk to me about that decision to go hair of the dog and get right back after it against that killer. Yeah, this is the one, man. The one I need to get back. It's been on my mind for a long time, and I have this opportunity in front of me. I've done the work, um, sharpened everything up. And uh, let's see if I can get this guy back now. All right, let's talk about doing the work. That that was a, a, a big defeat for you. It came back in December of 2022 on one on Prime Video 5, a first-round knockout loss. I'm always fascinated for fighters because you guys have to constantly reinvent your belief system to be able to be as bold to carry out the job that you do. How much work did it take to rebuild the invincibility after that defeat? Yeah, it took a lot because it was a devastating one, of course. So um, it took a while to get back into training and stuff. I wanted to do it right with the brain. I give myself some time to heal. And um, I have a little who's here at the door. Oh. Um, it's okay. It's my wife. She can come in. in the back. Sorry. Got a no lot of stuff going on <laughs> right now. Excuse me. Oh, my God. Just two seconds. Sure. Yes. All good. I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, about reinventing the belief system, definitely. So, um, it was a it was a tough loss to take. Um, as in if you've done this so many times as I've had sixteen times, and it was pretty. Uh, I don't want to sound arrogant, but it was pretty easy every time. But I, I did pretty well. Never really got hurt. Never really got hit. To be honest. So I went into this fight, I took it like a, on five weeks notice and I went into it like, um, yeah, well, it's going to happen like it always happens. This is how fight goes. I go in, I take him down and I choke him. And um, that obviously wasn't the case. So um, <laughs> um, <laughs> so now I'm, I'm really looking at it from a different angle. It's the, um, it's the work I put in. It's the, the precision I put into my techniques, the, the grind I put myself through every day that gives me the right to be one of the best guys in the world and um before it might have been a bit like i'm one of the best guys in the world regardless and um i was still training hard but i kind of lost track of that um little edge i've always had before uh yeah and and, and that'll be a wake-up call to to bring that 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 lion that eye of the tiger whatever cliche you want to say back out of you when you look back at that matchup though did you underestimate him? I mean, you got yeah, the definitely. very best of him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I didn't really, to be honest, I didn't put too much uh, uh, respect on him at all. Uh, I just went in. It's another guy who strikes hard. It's another guy with a strong right hand. And I've faced a lot of those guys. And um, um, before, I, I got a little bit too cocky, maybe a little bit too arrogant going into this fight the last time. And uh, I paid for it. Sure, sure. That was for the light heavyweight championship. And Anatoly Malikin has gone on to unify the one heavyweight championship. This will be for your middleweight title. Yeah. Uh, can he make that weight easily? What What are your thoughts on that entering this matchup? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, we'll see. If he makes it, it's nice. If he doesn't make it, it's nicer. He can give me a cut of his purse. Do you think, though, that that will... I don't know, mute some of his danger, some of his strengths, if this is an especially hard cut for him? No, nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think it's uh, it's the hardest for him. He's a lot shorter than I am. He's stocky, of course. He he, he was heavy, but um, he had some way to lose. Uh, so I don't think it's too heavy on him. Um, I never requested a middleweight fight. It, it doesn't matter at which weight this uh, this one is uh, contested at. Um, 
I just want th this one back. Uh, it's uh, it's for me. It's about getting my uh, my revenge in this one. Indeed, indeed, that is the storyline that we can't wait to see. So, how do you prepare differently this time to get the best of Anatoly Malkin? Yeah, so um, uh, I've basically been focused on only this guy for uh, for a year now. Uh, it's always been short notice uh, fights uh, over the last couple of years, like a couple of weeks out. And now I've really had the time. It's always been this name. It's always been this guy in the back of my mind. I need to get this one back. Um, so um, I've lined out all the mistakes I made. I came into light for the fight. Uh, he had a lot of weight on me. Uh, so I've, I've put on some mass uh, for this one. Um, technically, there's a lot of small, intricate stuff that I've been working on. Um, Mentally, there's some stuff I've been working on. Um, I've gone out to get out of my comfort zone a little bit, uh, visiting different gyms. Spent a lot of time sparring at Hammer's Gym uh, with all the killers here in Breda, all the heavyweight kickboxers. Um, and uh, it's it's done me well. I've lost a few brain cells maybe, but uh, still uh, <laughs> <laughs> learned a well, lot. Uh, yeah. Technically. That's the best way to sharpen the knife and and round out your skill set in that regard. Do you think you will look back at your first meeting with Malikin and say it was necessary the way that things went down? Are you of that belief that every misstep opens the door for an even greater comeback? Definitely. So this is the um, this is the I have this opportunity in front of me to make it a good thing. So it's a it's a bad thing right now. It's shit that I lost the uh, title. It's shit that I got knocked out. But I have an opportunity here to make it a good thing, to make it um, something I needed, and uh, to make it great. Um, so um, no shit, no story, no friction, no shine. Um, yeah, uh, I have I have this thing in front of me. I've uh, I've my mind set on redemption. And um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, for sure. Cannot wait to see this as it goes down uh, Friday, March 1st, 7.30 a.m. Eastern, streaming live on Prime Video 1, 166. Traveling to the Middle East, and this has become this area, whether we're talking about Qatar, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, taking over, not just in, in fight sports, but specifically in fight sports. What do you make of that? Because there is this new argument could, let's say, Riyadh or Dubai, could those become the new Las Vegas when we talk about global meccas of the fight game? What are your thoughts on this expansion of late into that area of the world? Yeah, they're definitely trying. Huh? So uh, it's very cool. Uh, in the beginning of my career, I've been to Abu Dhabi a couple of times to compete there. Uh, they've done a lot for jiu-jitsu, of course. Uh, they have all the kids that train jiu-jitsu. Um, so that's inspiring. It's very cool. Um, and I'm very happy that it's in Qatar this time. It's a short little flight, six hours, uh, only two hours time difference. I get to see some sun instead of this uh, rainy uh, Dutch weather I've, I've been looking at for the last couple of months. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy to, uh, to be part of um, all these fighters going to the Middle East right now. Sure, sure. When I talked to you ahead of this first fight, I loved your ambition. It's sort of this holy grail in mixed martial arts that somebody eventually will be a three division champion and a major promotion. I, you know, we always thought maybe Conor McGregor would get the first swing at it. And I know that was something that you were looking to do the idea of beating Malkin at one weight class and then beating him at the other for another title. Now he's got the opportunity to kind of turn the tables and maybe if he can win, achieve that dream himself. Is that motivating you to almost play spoiler to that idea? Because somebody's going to be the first to do it. We got to see who it is. Yeah, um, this is not really the motivation, to be honest. Um, it's just I have this thing in me, man. He beat me. He got me fair and square and he got me good. I just need to get this one back. Man. Um, and it's the only thing on my mind. Um, it sounds a bit um, arrogant, maybe, but uh, after a while, you've if you if you win a couple of belts, they're nice. They're on the wall in the gym, but um, I never look at them. I don't really mind too much. Um, it's just this one is personal. Huh? I need to get them back. For sure, for sure. When you look at him now, and you've taken a long time to prepare for this, rightfully yeah. so, to to reinvent yourself in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. Do you still see holes in his game that that you feel like were always there, and and you hope to, you know, blow up when you two meet again? Yeah, so I'm coming into this one with a lot more respect for his game, but it's still 
it's not the um, he doesn't do too many spectacular stuff. He's not, not like uh, amazingly well rounded. Um, he's very, very, very dangerous. Of course, he has a right hand with a missile on it, and um, if it connects, it's over for anybody. Um, but that's the main thing. Huh? It cannot connect. That's the thing I'm, I've been working on all this time. He cannot hit me. If you're able to take him down consistently, is, is that game over in your eyes? Yeah, not consistently. If I take him down, it's game over. One time. That's all. That's all the RDR needs. One time. Correct. That's it. That's it. Anywhere. Anywhere. Great stuff. Great stuff. Uh, this is. This is. Would you call this a defining fight of your career? Definitely. This is the one, man. This is the one. I'm always fascinated about, like I said, that mental recovery. I watch combat sports because I find so much relatable life inspiration within um, that. You're in the midst of that. I mean, are you having, I don't know if you watch the old Rocky movies for motivation, but are you having the kind of thing where you're turning off social media, keeping the phone off the hook, and the only thing you're doing every single day is looking at that man's name and his face in your mind? Yeah, not really his face, um, but uh, <laughs> but the goal at hand, definitely. I've never been too much of a social media person, but I've shut it out all the way now for the last couple of months. No distractions, um, just the task at hand. And um, it's, it's engraved in my mind. This is my moment. This is the one. That's great. What goals do you have remaining? Where do you go from here? And I asked that. Not that now that you're not that you're looking past this fight, I can tell you're not, yeah. but you are a guy who can compete in multiple different weight divisions. You've been a part of some very big fights for one so far. What does yeah. this fight lead to in your mind? It's very, uh, I've been asked this a couple of times now. It's very, very hard for me to look past smart fights at the moment. Um, I've always in uh, past fights, I've always had a plan who to call out afterwards or, um, where to go or whatever but this time i i it, there's nothing in my mind there's nothing i can tell you honestly it's just a march 1st is um is the is the only thing i have all right if you get him back does that end the rivalry in your eyes yes yes when i get him back it's over so we don't need to go to heavyweight and take that belt too right no 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 this is uh this is dumb dumb old rdr talking this is 2022 RDR trucking. Three belts, all this nonsense. Heavyweight, all this nonsense. I'm good. I'm a middleweight. Um, and uh, that's enough. It's enough. Well, one of the best submission specialists and grapplers in the world today. Uh, can't wait for this event. 1-166 one, from Cutter. March 1st, it's a Friday morning, 7.30 a.m. in the States, and you can stream live on Prime Video or on watch.1fc.com. The Dutch Knight, Rainier de Ritter, always a pleasure to talk to you. Great hearing this resolve, this drive, and this focus heading into this rematch with Anatoly Malikin. We can't wait to see it, man. Best of luck out there. Thank you, Brian.